This is New York City. Your home. My home. Home to eight and a half million people. But there is a shadow being cast over our home. New Yorkers are tough, and we don't like bullies, but we are now under attack. And the enemy is among us, above us, in the high rises, but looking down on us. In these billion dollar offices are the leaders of Rebney, the real estate board of New York. Rebney members look down upon the city they control. We are at the mercy of Rebney, and many of us don't know who they are or what they do. For millions of New Yorkers in all five boroughs, Rebney sets policies that keep residential and commercial rents skyrocketing. They allow substandard unsafe working conditions to proliferate on construction sites. Rebney leaders grab our tax money to enrich themselves and to buy politicians. I had no idea. Few do. Take Mr. Wang. Mr. Wang owns his family's dim sum restaurant, just like his father before him. But little does Mr. Wang realize he's being watched from above. His restaurant is valuable real estate, and soon, Mr. Wang will be forced out to make room for an upscale retail clothing store. And Mr. Wang isn't alone. Oh, poor Mr. Wang! Is this actually happening? It is, and when they tear down Mr. Wang's family business, the new construction will be completed by workers who are underpaid and uninsured. This is Rebney's way of keeping construction costs down. Enrique is on the construction crew, making extremely low pay off the books to feed his wife and children. But when the scaffold collapsed, Enrique suffered several fractures and nearly died. Without insurance and now out of work, his family suffers terribly. This is, of course, none of Rebney's concern. I was there. Poor Enrique. It's just terrible. Yes, it is. And above the brand new clothing store are luxury apartments. The rent on many of these apartments was meant to be controlled in an effort to provide affordable housing. But billionaire Rebney members had other plans. They applied for construction tax abatements to provide some affordable housing units. Then decided there would be no affordable housing units after all. But they kept the tax breaks anyway. That is so wrong. Yes, it is. And what's worse is the way the new tenants' rent is being spent. In fact, millions of New Yorkers who rent and buy from Rebney members contribute without knowing it to funding political corruption and investments in big business, including big tobacco. Did you hear that? Big tobacco. Are you telling me that my rent money funds the tobacco industry? Yes, it does. I had no idea this was going on. Few do. It's Rebney's plan to keep a low profile. Rebney and its top policymakers are the main reason your rent is going up. And the reason construction in New York is so dangerous. But now that you know, we can take measures to reverse these crimes. If you're sick of funding political corruption, big tobacco, and care about the safety of workers, your home, and the homes of others, small businesses, and our neighborhoods, then let's all work as New Yorkers to get out from under Rebney's shadow. It's our right to protest and fight for our homes, jobs, and quality of life. New Yorkers unite! Stand up to the neighborhood threat. It's, it's time, time to, to stop, stop Rebney, Rebney bullies. bullies.